downshifting on track. Well, one word, early, you need to do it as early as you can. I know there is a lot going on in that onboard footage that you've seen. It's a dual camera that is linked together. Um, when I was last rode in Donington, uh, last time on track, we'll come back on that actually. I can explain to you a little bit better, slow-mo, you know, bit by bit, exactly everything that's going on, the dynamics that are going on in that video. But basically you want to downshift as early as you can without obviously over revving your bike, going over the rev limiter, because this will actually break your engine. But as long as you don't go over that, um, the higher rev you can uh, use in your downshift uh, uh, phase, the better. And this is all because of the engine brake. The engine brake is gonna help you massively to stop the bike, to reduce the braking distance, therefore to improve your lap time, to improve the, um, the way you feel as well with your bike going into the corners. You're gonna feel much more comfortable. And there's many reasons for that. Uh, the first one is because by downshifting early, you're going to keep the revs high. And this is where the best cleanest engine brake is. You don't want to use that low part of the revs, which give like a, like a really strong negative torque that is not good for the dynamics of the bike. So keep your revs in the braking zones nice and high. Um, there's other reasons as well. Uh, for example, you don't want to downshift late as you go into the corner. So basically, the earlier you downshift, the more straight the bike is because then later on in the phase you start leaning the bike and if you start downshifting when the bike is lent quite a bit already, you're gonna get the shift shock that I call this, that's every time you downshift, is going to dynamically upset the bike. No matter what you do, it will upset the bike. Um, if you do that when you start leaning or when you already land quite a bit into the corner, you're gonna get you know, a rear slide and that's gonna transfer into the front and dynamically that's not good, that's not efficient. So you wanna downshift as early as you can because the bike will be straighter and the bike will be able to take it more and it'll be easier to control as well. It'll, it'll make you feel more comfortable. There's actually a video about this in the members area of um, um, this, uh, this channel. So you can check that. The link will be in the description if you're interested in more details of what's going on there, downshifting with and without the clutch, with and without slipper clutch as well, or blipper, it makes a big difference. So I explained to, um, everything about that in the members area. Now let's take a little look at that video more in detail. So we're gonna start um, looking at this from, from the start. There we go, so we'll play this. So where are we there? This is Melbourne uh, corner. So braking really hard from fourth onto first gear for very, very slow airpin. So if we look at it a little bit more in detail, because there's so much going on there. So uh, on the left, you can see this is my, my throttle and front brake. So you'll see that as soon as I get on the throttle, so there you go, uh, sorry, uh, on, the, on the front brake, the downshift, it comes really like early. And then I just wait a little bit for first gear there because there's quite a lot of rear locking. So let's, let's play that. Just look at the front end and then the downshifting then on the right, almost instantly. So front brake, downshift, downshift two gears, and then first gear, oh, a little bit of a lock in there, but basically using that negative torque, trail braking into the corner. And this is the same here, so up to third, down to second. And then all that phase now using the engine brake. So I'm trail braking here going in and they've got the engine brake helping me to stop. And we're in the final straight now. For the first straight, so up to fourth. Brake, bam, bam, downshift. Very high RPM there going into turn one, you see. And then using it again until I release the brake. Let's have a look at, let's have a look at that again. See, very high revs there, and then all that phase there. So there's seconds there, you know, going into the corner with our engine brake helping. Short shifting now, going to Hollywood, so no downshift there. We're gonna go through craners in a minute, fast left. Woo, always scary, even looking at it in video. There again for all their pin brake downshift. It's down here, using the engine brake, you know, to stop the bike running wide. Helps a lot there. Short shift to fourth now. I'm gonna go all the way up to Schwanz. And then again here, braking, bam, bam, two gears, trail braking a bit into, uh, is it McLean or Schwanz? I forgot now. I always forget the corner names. Uh, this is Coppice, so no downshift there, staying third with that gearing. And now into the back straight. So you're gonna see there as well, pay attention at the braking zone there. Third, three gears down, brake, bam, bam, downshift, and wait a bit for second as well. So here I wait a bit for a second as well because there is quite a lot of locking. I run quite a bit of engine braking on that on the bike. Like a, I like a strong engine brake because it helps so much offloading the, you know, that uh, pressure on the front brake, so on, the, on the front tire. So yeah, listen, listen to that. 
the I roll off a little bit there because in the straight there is a there's like a the bike just takes off so roll off re-accelerate then brake in really hard three gears down for foggy S's so you'll see the transition is quite fast as well so throttle 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 brake downshift two gears yeah, there's a little bit of rear lock in there with the second gear, so this is why I wait. And then we're back into Melbourne Happy there. So short shift to fourth here, yeah. Full gas and then brake, downshift. So I think I think uh, you get that now. So basically, downshift early, it will help you. It will make your um, going in through the corner, the trail braking phase, much better, much smoother. And it will help you improve your lap times. And also you'll feel better. You'll feel like, whoa, I'm, I'm actually stopping really well here. So try and think about it the next time you're on track, try and practice that. And I am 100% sure this will help you to improve your feeling and your lap time. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon, guys.